Welcome, YouTube. Let's have a little discussion about um, shiplap tools used to um, form male and female um, ends on duckboard. I saw a video just recently, and I'm not slamming the guy or anything, but uh, I watched the video and um, he went on and he was, uh, he was going along and he was um, putting out some useful information up to a certain point and then he went awry. Uh, he was giving some wrong information. So I just wanted to get this video out there to um, uh, set the record straight and actually show how to use these tools. Now, this is a male. What constitutes a male from a female, I don't know, because I have a hard time visualizing an inanimate piece of duckerboard as something sexual, or uh, not sexual, but, uh, you know, having a, a gender. But anyway, uh, these are Malco tools, and um, they call this a female. And by the way, the red and yellow, these are for inch and a half duckboard, R6 duckboard. Um... They say this is a female, okay, whatever, and this is a male. Now what we do with these tools is uh, we use them to join se sections of uh, plenums, uh, duckboard, that have already been formed, like uh, here's a little sample piece here that I made of a, a duct. Okay, you know, it's pretty tight, but it's just a sample and uh, what we do with these tools is we groove a male and a f or a female into this so that we can join a, a, another section onto this another section of duct work and um, most duct board comes with uh, one end of it already having a female shiplap on it and so when you form the duct duct board into uh, a shape like this one end is already going to have a female end on it and so what we'll need to do is form a male end on that to couple to couple them together you know put them together and form a, a contiguous piece of duct work in sections when you're cutting a female lap joint. Remember, the, the duckboard comes with a female lap joint on a 10 foot section uh, of um, duckboard uh, when you buy it. Uh, but if you have to cut a female uh, lap joint, you use the female tool, you can see the shoulder of the tool rides on the foil, on the top of the foil, okay? And the blade, the blade will protrude through the section of fiberglass. Okay. Now let me see if I can cut a section for you so you can get an idea. If I got a piece of scrap here, I'm running out of scrap. Maybe I can cut this, cut this section, cut this end off here. Let me get it in the camera's view. I can. We're gonna cut it this way. Now ordinarily when you're making these cuts, by the way, um, you're doing it on an assembled, already assembled um, duct. And so there's tape supporting the corners and that kind of thing. So you get the idea. You know, I just followed the foil across, okay? But you know, when it's formed into a box shape, it's a lot easier to cut. Is, is the point. That's the female. Throw the garbage away. Now, the whole purpose of going through this, well, let me show you a male first. Uh, do I have a male here? Um, shapes are confusing sometimes. I don't have a male there. This is a male. It's what a, a male 
what they call a male, okay? How they, like I said, I mean, what constitutes male from female, I don't know. But this is what they call a male, female, or, or a male lap joint. And the difference between a female, which is this, and a male is that one favors, as you can see, this one favors the foil in, okay? And this one favors the backside. And the foil is used as a flap for stapling. Now when we cut this lap joint, again, this would ordinarily be part of a piece of duct that's already taped and, you know, and uh, it's taped together tightly and it's stapled and all that, okay? So we'd be cutting into finished ends here that are already secured. But what you do with this tool, and I want to make it perfectly clear, is that you see the position of the tool. This one does not ride on the shoulder of the tool. It does not. It rides between the foil, right, like this. You position it between the foil, between the foil and the fiberglass, and you cut through that way, okay? And uh, to demonstrate, let me uh, try to show you with this, this uh, faux piece of duck board I made here, how you would do this. This is the piece, the end piece here. You want to do a male. What you do, okay, see these corners are already, you know, they're, they're fixed now. I'm going to position the tool between, I'm looking at the camera right now, between the foil and the fiberglass. And I'm going to try to rotate it in here, inward, like that, okay, down to depth. I have to move it back forth a couple times and and you can see the position of the tool now I want to make it perfectly cl clear that the tool is riding between the foil and the fiberglass okay you can see that it is not riding on the shoulder of the tool unlike the other unlike the female which does ride on the fiberglass uh, on the shoulder of the tool this one does not. We just move it along following the foil until we get to the end. Where am I on the camera here? I'm to the end. You might have to work it out. Now this this piece is small, okay? So it's hard to cut. But you can see there's the ship lap that favors the inside, okay? And that's a male shiplap, and that's how you cut it. And we've cut out most of uh, everything. Again, this is, you know, uh, I'm making excuses here, but, you know, this is a piece that's pretty small. I made for demo purposes. And so it'll be a lot easier on a larger piece of ductwork. But here you can see now I've got foil, okay? And I'll use that for stapling. And uh, and that kind of thing. And the, the male end of this, sorry, this is the male. The female end will plug into this. Now, I'll do that shiplap all, all the way around, obviously, on this, okay? And so let me just show you the shiplap joint once it's finished. This is, this is the uh, male joint, okay? It favors the back side, the uh, inside of the duct board. The foil, where the, where the tool rode between the foil and the duct board is the foil. We're going to use that for stapling. And um, again, here's a female. Okay, which favors the foil side. Get it over here. These close-ups. This is a female. And when you're stacking or uh, 
joining pieces of duct board, plenums, okay, already assembled plenums. You'd be stacking them like this. You'd use the flap for stapling, and you're going to simply tape them together. And uh, I stole a video from the Malco website. Uh, they did a good job showing the use of a female tool, uh, but they didn't show a clear use of the male tool on their website. So I uh, want to clarify that also. I want to show I want to show the usage of the tool um, without any ambiguity, so nobody gets confused on how to use it. And uh, so that'll end this video. Uh, they're simple tools to use, and they're primarily used to join sections of plenum or sections of uh, ductwork. Alrighty, good luck.